Good Saturday morning. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Thanks for coming. We are going to have a speed craft today. We're working on this cookbook. I haven't done a thing without you. It's exactly where we left off and it's time to be done. I had a couple of days where I wasn't able to get into my room and now I'm just itching. So today I want to get all the ephemera done. So we're just going to get started. How was that? Okay. So, sew your buttons. I watched Tammy Van Antwerp, her channel, and she had mentioned that a gal over at Tatter, oh, what is it? Oh, shoot, I was just, I have her, wait. I'm actually watching her right now. Taddy Treasures. If you haven't checked out the channel, go check it out. She is just, I think it's just today started. Anyway, she's doing an Edith Holden, um, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, that's a book. Imagine that. Um, hmm. Can't think of the name. File folder. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. I want to write method and ingredients on these, and I think I'll use my pen that I just moved because I don't want to take the time to find my stamps. stamps oh jeez <laughs> ingredients <laughs> cute method okay now Let's get moving on. Is this page done? Yeah, all I really wanted to do was mark that. I think it's done. Do I want anything on this side? I think I need a some type of a holder. So, we'll just do this. Eh, I like it like that. But I want to put some stitching on it. I don't know why. It's got a trim on it. So that would have been fine. I have company coming. I hope I've invited them. Today is the 4th of July parade and things in our area. And uh, I was actually going to go. I was going to go to the farmer's market again because now is when I like to start gearing up for winter. So I have been dehydrating and things, and I love that. I love all aspects of cooking. And I wanted to keep in touch with the farmer's market because they always have such great fresh produce and things. Okay. 
but I didn't make it down there this morning. It's only once a week, but my friends are going, and so I said, come by after. Will this fit there? Let's see. Ooh, it could. Yeah, it could. Oop, 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 oop. But not right now. So let's move that over here and make a card. I don't know if these are too big, though, right? Yeah. I think they're too big for that, too. Hmm. Maybe I'll go ahead and cut this just a little. I was thinking of actually about cutting it in half, but I don't think that's enough. I'm just going to cut it like, no, it has to be this way because it's too fat. I think that's still a good size for a card, right? How big is that? So if I went three and a half, it'd be three and a half by um, five and a half. I think that's a really good size card. So there's three, there's three and a half. Three, right, no, here's three, there's three and a half. I love Fiskars. That's a good size card, no matter what it is. So, yeah, this new channel, I like it. Um, I think it's going to be a fun channel to hang out with. She's got some cool ideas. I bumped into a live uh, the other day. Can't remember who it was. I'll look on my phone in just a second. Yeah, I've been subbing quite a lot of new channels. Okay, I think I'll put, this is going to fit. So I think I'll put the name up here. And let's do, let's just do this. You know, I could use this. Hmm, maybe I will. We'll see. Yeah, I want each page to have a tuck or something for it's a recipe book, so I want them to be able to keep recipes. This is bothering me. I don't care for the way this worked out at all. So, and it's really, really stiff. tear this off no matter what. I can cover it with something. Um, wasn't going to work the way it was, so no sense in having it there. Okay, so if it were like this, this could go like this. Just barely on the tip. So it's got lots of movement room. And let's get this out of here so this can stay and I will find something for that like hmm. 
Mm. I don't know. kind of like the yellow but it's not the same shade oh here let's do this My dogs are going crazy. I'm not going to try to put that under there yet. Mm. Let's introduce a little yellow. It's a little too cutesy for me so far. I realize that these are really designed to be layered, but it didn't happen today. Yeah, I want to get this bound. That's want to get it done. We are going to be going to the cabin soon and I want I don't want to take this with me. I want it to be done by then. Um I need something for the center and I'm going to go green. Not yet. Okay, we're going to set that right there. Is the back done? No. Okay, let's do the back. That would be a good way for us to wait for the glue to dry. Let's see. I, I really like the top ideas. I want one page to be cuts of beef and things like that. So I don't want to just chop that up. And there's not much else I really like on that page. So let's move it. Love this, love it. That would make a nice tuck. So let's do it. Need to send a text. Hold on, someone's calling me. And I really like corners rounded. And I want this center. Love this punch. So easy to use. It'll cut paper, it'll cut card. Where are you? I know I had. Okay. I'll play your silly game. 
I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Fabri-Tac on that. It's not gluing. There we go. Done messing around with white glue with you. Hold on, I want to see if there's somebody here that I need to quit. Nope. Normally, I let everybody know that that's what I'm going to be doing. Then I don't get interrupted. But I didn't do that, <laughs> so it's my own fault. I didn't tell anybody that I was coming in here. So I'm thinking this will hold a nice card. Let's grab a card. Oh yeah, that'll be great. I'm just gonna use Fabri-Tac. I actually could be using um, double-sided tape. I don't mind double-sided tape for pockets if the card that's going in is quite a bit smaller than the pocket, but if they're if it's a tight fit, I don't like it because it catches the edge of the I'm going to wipe that off. Jeez, let go. The edge of the, the uh, glue tape thing, strip it. It just doesn't seem to ever really get completely stuck. I don't like it. I don't like using that double-sided tape for pockets. And Once in a while I do it, but I prefer not to. I guess I am going to have to make... Oh, I have to find my... Let me cover this. Where are you? I know that's not it, but I really don't want to spend a lot of time looking. We'll find it. Okay. Let's do this card. Ingredients. Method. I bet it'll stick now. This is really too thick and stiff. It's curled up. I don't like the way these turned out. You know, maybe this would be a good place to put that instead of a recipe, because it doesn't have two sides. Hmm. Maybe I could back that. Hmm, that might be a plan. I Maybe I'll do that. Let's see if this is going to work. It doesn't feel quite as bowed. Yeah, I might do that. We'll see later. All right, where'd you go?
this is going to be a lot of cards. I mean, it's, there you are. If you figure 25 pages, they, they're double-sided, that's 50. And really, there are room for more than one per page. And let's do a corner. There's room for more than one per page. And you can add more pages. I love that. And I love this too. These colors are just so country. Really, really cute. that. I'm glad I remembered to turn the pattern. I want this to be a big corner. That is not straight. There's no way. Huh. Okay. So this is how big. One two, mm, is it four inches? Let's see, I think it's three. Oh, it's four, so let's go four this way and make a square. Can you see what I'm doing? And let's do two of them. And now let's make a triangle. One, two, let's do four. I can always move. I haven't put the, I haven't made the pages um, according to the groups of food, so it should be fine that, you know, you get chickens for three pages and then you get, you know, whatever. Oh, how adorable. I'm going to sew this really quick. Maybe. I might be out of bobbin, so if I am, I will just move on. If you guys are looking for a sewing machine, I am still in love with this brother. It's a great beginner sewing machine. If you are not really a proficient sewer, it's newbie proof. <laughs> it's called a Brother X S, like Sally, 2080. Computerized sewing, it says. I got it at Joann's. I, I know I saved money on it, but I can't remember how much it was. I'm not going to put a hole in that but it was cheap I, I don't remember but it's been great for me it there was a really little learning curve just hardly nothing and it just goes it's not complicated there's nothing I have to reset every time I love it great machine and it's got 80 stitches I mean more than I'll ever use it's got ones that look like embroidery and ones that look like flowers and it's pretty cool. I like it. I made some adjustments to the holder of my camera so I hope it doesn't jiggle or slant or anything like it did last time. Oh, and it this holder thing came with what they call a selfie light. It's a clip-on that goes around the camera on my phone up here. If you notice that the light is better ingredients, um, or worse, or not at all, not a change or whatever, let me know, and I will keep using it. I noticed that a couple videos back, it seemed like that needs a word. We'll do that. We'll do that down the road. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's.
let's look at this stack. And where are my... Excuse my reach, guys. I want to make sure that I use these. I think they turned out so cute. Yeah, I can see how this is going to be my a real fave. That punch. It. I want to say it was an Amazon Prime thing. Oh, I might be wrong. This is why it's so cool to buy great paper. When you have great digis or 12 by 12s or good paper pack, man, it, it just, the base work is done. All you have to do is add your little twist to things. Let's get it straight just for giggles because we can I think I've got water in my glue I think last time I cleaned my glue I got water in the I didn't rinse the cap out before I put it on I think that's what's going on with my glue I don't know This is a milk cap. Picture of a milk cap, or a reproduction, I should say. So it fits perfectly right here with a cow. Not sure why my paper is curled, but I'm noticing that it is. I'm not sure I like that very much. That's another reason why I want to get all of it bound is I don't want the papers to get dirty or whatever. in my glue today. I like that. It's simple. I really like that there's, you know, you could have done this half this size because all your cards would fit here. You could even do them this way. But I, I, they like to write and make notes and journal and things, so I know that they're gonna utilize that extra writing space. Okay, that one's done. I still need to print these off, and I will, maybe. You know, I got to thinking, I wonder if they would like it if they did that themselves. You know, they may, I don't know. Maybe they want like an oriental section or vegan section or something. 
So that crossed my mind and I haven't really decided what to do. So it'll go like this. So maybe it should go more toward the side here. Those tags are so cute. I'm gonna put Fabri-Tac on here. I'm not sure what's going on with my glue. But. It's a beautiful day. It's just great. This turned out really cute. It's great to get away from your project and uh, come back to it. I try to do that when I'm doing something that you can't undo. <laughs> you know, the cover or something like that. I try to just get away from it and then come back to it. Mm, I could do this. Maybe, like, maybe I'll do both of them like that. Then does a card fit? Yeah, it will. Okay, let's do that. And let's put just a little thumbprint, thumb hole. Just a little. Look at us. We're just cooking with gas. bad part about this selfie light is I can't see the time at all. It's covered it up. So I'm going to guess I'll have to. This paper ages so well. It already has a little hue on the edges, like it's old, like it's just been in the sun or something. Okay, where's my card? That is so cute. Cute. Really like that. Okay, how about this one? What were we doing here? This little pocket's adorable. 
Hmm. It's so cute. Let's just put it down. Let's see, I am going to have to monitor my time. I can't keep you guys here all day. I was going to sew that, I just remembered that, but it's not going to happen. And I'll leave that as a pocket so they can put two recipes here if they want. Blue string. I think that this is the fun of getting into junk journaling if you're new. Um, is there's really no end to how to use your imagination. I haven't seen a lot of people making glue books. I mean glue books. I was thinking if this is going to stick to the glue on the sides. <laughs> um, cookbooks. But I've seen scrapbookers do a scrapbook version. I don't know about these. I don't know. That is so bland. I'm just not sure. What if we do a tuck? Like a belly band? Let's do that. This would be big enough that if you had um, a recipe from a book page or whatever magazine now let's put something in there so that they can see that that's what it is yeah there's really no end to the things that you can do. I'd like to make a series about firsts. When I first started making junk journals, I had the idea of making a book, several books actually, about my first horse. Uh, my first car, my first lost tooth, you know, just firsts. Look at me. I'm not going to do all of this at this, uh, on this video, there's no way, but I am going to get it done today. I hope. <laughs> I hope I will.
right here. It's a little tough to get right to the um, binding, so I'm going to, you know, pull it out a bit. I like this size of card. I think it's four by five and a half. I think. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, yeah. Watch the frugal crafter Lindsay over at Sat Chat. She always does a Saturday chat. I've been watching those, and I didn't see anything from Tim Holtz this morning. There needs to be something on here. Where's that page that had all the trim? Where are you at? I know you're here. I'll have to find that later, I guess. Was it this one? Um, this could work. That mm -hmm. I like both sides of that. I don't know. I'll do it later. I'll do, I think I'll do this. I was going to cut it into a, a triangle for the corner, but I'm not going to, oops, I'm going to do the corner, so. really care for that but I like this so Not really working for me. That might do it. Then they can title this little pocket and go a few more minutes and then I'll have to call it a video. I like this but they don't have a chicken coop. So not that you'd need one but it 
sure to put some ink around the edges, but it'll be fine. I forgot. I do like this, but nah, not yet. Where's our card? How about some different colored ink and get bored with that? How about wild honey? What number is it? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I may go see if I can find, um, go through my cardboard and see if I can find a piece that has ridges in it that I can mod podge over and, um, oh yeah, what happened there? Um, that I could Mod Podge over and then use to ink for lines. I may do that. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I must have sat the card on it. I don't know. Oop, it's definitely a smudge. Oh well, it's smudged. Oh yeah. Really simple. Did I just break that? Hold on. Yeah. Sorry, I just hit the whole thing. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Okay, maybe. That might fall. I bumped the cord and now the cord is dangling precariously. I don't care for that. I did, but I don't know. All right. This is how fast this is going together. And it'll take about five minutes to use my Your Story binder and bind it. I'll try to do that on video so you can see it. Because if you run across one, let's see. Yeah, if you want run across one used, like in you know marketplace or something, I would buy one. I mean, they they are great. And I forgot <laughs> that it was a laminator also. And I went out and bought a laminator, but you really don't need one with that. It binds books, and it also laminates mm, let's go this way is that straight I don't think that's actually straight. <laughs> I have to have something behind here. That's bothering me. You bother me. Let's see. That, no, 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 no. Ooh. Forgot about those corner tucks. Let's see here. Oh, how adorable. Some of this is just so sweet. Oh, look at that. Yeah. 
Yup, yup, yup. Tammy, I'm watching you. The projects you're doing are great. Cindy, you've been on a scrap busting kick. Great ideas. I've been watching you too. Oh, that is adorable. Cute. That's just cute right there. Okay, I got glue right there. Oh, that's going to stick out. Let's cut that off. I got a little greedy, but I don't, it'll work fine. Let go. Let go of me. What well, we need one more card. I'm gonna have to make some more cards. I thought I had plenty. But I don't. So the next video should be today or tomorrow, and I, when I do it, I'll have all the ephemera in the book, and um, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. It's going to glue it. And what we'll do is organize the pages, and I'll get my uh, your story machine out, and I'll show you. It's a it's a pretty cool thing. I didn't realize what I had when I bought it. But it's that's pretty cool. Cute, yeah, I like that. I've been researching digital, electric di digital canners. In fact, I almost bought one. I love to can, but I'm scared to death to do the old fashioned canners. They just scare the tar out of me. And, uh, gosh, I almost was going to buy one. Presto makes one, and so does Nesco. And they, I both I trust both of those companies. But um, I, while I was doing my research, I ran across the co-op, um, cooking co-op, for one of the universities, and they said, do not use those for canning low acid foods like potatoes, meat, carrots, the things that you, you know, you have to use um, real high pressure over a long period of time. They said that they don't pressurize long enough to kill all the bacteria. I don't understand that. How can the companies be advertising them as being USDA approved. I don't understand. Anybody know? Does anybody work for a co-op? But that was, if you Google them, if you are in the same boat I am, I'm trying to get our pantry ready for winter. I mean, we're not pioneers or anything, but 
I like having food storage and energy storage and all that kind of jazz. We lose power all the time. That's a normal thing. And we have storms that knock down poles. Our winters are harsh. We get deep snow. We get a lot of blizzards with high winds. So my mother always had a huge garden and she taught me to cook and also gave me the love of all of it. Food, gardening, cooking, preserving. Yeah, so, ooh. Mm, I was hoping it would lay, yeah, there we go. So, um, I had really thought about, because there's a lot of things I don't can, like if I make a big pot of sauce, you know, um, for spaghetti, I would love to be able to just throw some in a quart jar and seal it up, you know? Or if you put a roast in the oven and there's way too much, you can just scoop some out and put everything in a jar and seal it up and then you've got that for a fast dinner later. But I don't like those old-fashioned ones. I have PTSD from them. You know, I probably ought to put something there. Maybe that's where this should go. My uh, mother, like I said, she canned. She canned everything. I mean, they would go fishing and she would come back and she would can all the fish. She would get a deal on chickens and she'd buy 50 and she'd boil them and we'd make, we'd spend a week. It was nothing to spend a week preparing food at making, we made chicken pot pies one year. Oh, land. And that was before they had pie dough in the, in the stores. So she would make the pie dough and she had tins that she had saved and we made the stuff for the inside, carrots and potatoes and peas and, and we'd fill them and make pies and freeze it up. I can't remember how many pies we made, but it was, it was a lot. We were, I was so tired. But she did stuff like that all the time. Ham and beans and chili and I never wanted for food as a kid. Didn't have a lot of money, but I never wanted for food. So I got the bug. I'm really bad. Guys, I'm going to have to cut it short because I think we have company. So that page is done. So this is what I have left to do. Let's get rid of the back. We'll put it over here. So I have, I don't know, seems like a lot. <laughs> There's 5, 10, 15, and 20. No, that can't be right. One, and then five, that's six. I did add some more pages, so it could be, you know, I could have 20 more pages to do. But I'm going to get those done, and I'll show them to you when we do, when we organize the pages. And I'll spend a little bit more time on them, probably, because um, I won't be trying to hurry. So this is what we got done. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm, I'm not sure about that flips down. Might have to... Hmm. What? 
maybe put a hand, maybe put a, what? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll put one of my circles right here so it will tuck in there. I don't know. We'll see. They're not going to do that without the lid, so it probably isn't a problem. But All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm happy that you're finding something to watch. I know there's a few new subbies, and I appreciate you. I love watching those numbers go up. I don't know why. It's not like I get a prize at the end. I guess it's because I know that I'm putting out some content that might be worth watching. And that's the goal, right? I, I really want to meet people and from all over, which I am, and uh, share this love of all these fiber stuff. All right, guys, let's all take care of each other. Bye.